Now, following an outrage generated by Sylvester Ramone's death, management of Doan College commiserates with family as Labor State Government seals school. We will be taking a close look at the terrorism financing as Islamic State in West Africa province moves 18 billion naira annual revenue through Nigeria's financial system. And as always, we will look at the day list this morning with an analyst to review them. We're glad to have you join us on The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. I am Justin Akadonye. And I am Messi Bopo. It's a beautiful uh, morning and it's good to have you join us. And as always, we will be starting with uh, what's trending on various um, social media spaces and of course um, globally. And um, Nigeria is in the news again, uh, as well as other countries. But specifically, let us start uh, with Nigeria uh, being placed by the UK on the red alert list. Uh, Nigeria amongst um, other uh, countries. You know, Mercy, uh, since the, the <laughs> discovery of the Omicron variant, you know, several countries, you know, you know have placed a travel ban. The US, uh, the UK, and some um, Southeast Asian countries countries have placed there. Uh, first of all, it was uh, for South African uh, nations, but now some of them have indeed, you know, extended that um, uh, tra uh, travel advisory. But right now, the UK has placed uh, Nigeria, you know, amongst, uh, you know, the uh, red list uh, countries, specifically even if you have been vaccinated, you know, you cannot be allowed entry into the UK. Well, that has also, you know, called for several reactions because I've seen how a lot of Nigerians and, you know, Africans have reacted to all of this because it feels like it's, you know, a struggle and a fight against Africans. And it's really, really horrible. So uh, that's this comparison that's ongoing. And the question is, uh, the fact that, first of all, this virus was dictated from South Africa and we cannot actually say where it originated from. So it's beginning to look like it has to do with some kind of, you know, racial discrimination. It's actually Africa. And uh, because, yeah, it, you know, it was dictated in Botswana, that's in South Africa, uh, you, you, it kind of feels like there's some body language, you know, from the Western world. And it's really, really worrisome. And you see, uh, I feel like the entire continent, Africa, we need to really wake up. First, the dependency, um, you know, rate is so much. We're over dependence on the Western world. For almost everything, it's really not good, right? No. So uh, I, I think that this high time, because if you, if you want to also look at the vaccine, up until this moment, we haven't been able as a continent to come together to say, yes, we have looked, you know, we've looked inwards and we're able to solve our problems, you know, by ourselves. Quite unfortunate. Uh, the Nigerian government has also faulted, you know, that particular report, mm -hmm. uh, faulted it, saying that those who are coming from the United Kingdom, uh, even from the tests and the reports, uh, find it to a lot of people who are coming from the United Kingdom are the ones who you know, um, uh, carriers yeah, of this virus. Is, uh, you know, virus into the country. But how come we had to wait up until this moment to speak? Why didn't we speak all, all the while? So it's really, really unfortunate. But I feel like it's time, you know, that the entire continent, Africa, you know, put the act together and ensure that, um, you know, we get it right completely. Yes, uh, indeed, uh, that's something that we should be worried about and uh, what we should, uh, you know, be trying to avoid, you know, so we don't just uh, look like a push of us for other countries. Also trending, you know, over the weekend, it's been like for a while now, mercy, since the death of, uh, you know, Sylvester Romani, you know, there has been so much, um, you know, outcry, uh, outrage on the social media platforms, you know, there have been reactions, counter reactions, some people have been calling out different people. But then, interestingly, the Lagos State government has sealed uh, the school in as much as uh, the management of, uh, you know, the, the the school has come out, uh, you know, with some sort of um, statement via uh, Instagram. You know, before now, they actually closed uh, their, their, their page, you know, uh, they didn't allow comment. But now they have uh, issued a statement and are commiserating with the family. From the very first thing we said at this conversation, there was really something very fishy. Let's not forget that. Uh, you, you have these institutions, and these institutions are supposed to protect the children or protect kids. It's really saddening. I mean, I have not really felt good. Every other time I get to see, you know, all of the pictures and uh, the videos and comments and reaction, this particular story, it's really traumatizing. Very, very, very sad. But, you know, like I said, from the 
beginning of everything that has happened, you just totally see negligence on the part of the school. Mm -hmm. The fact that no one pays attention. I mean, even the fact that the school is saddled with the responsibility, you know, to protect this kid uh, or children, not just, you know, the particular kid now, but these children would rather want to conceal the truth. There's a lot that's going on. It's a good thing that, yes, you know, the government has stepped in because from inception, before you have a school that has been, I mean, you don't just wake up and because you have money, you, you have, uh, you know, you just go ahead and open a school. Okay, there are procedures, and then the procedures would include that you will get a license, and therefore it means that government is involved, and government cannot be taken out of the equation. But in all of this, this is not the first time we've heard about the issue of bullying, molestation, what have you, harassment, and even that has led to the death of children in different schools. Uh, we haven't really seen a proactive action. We haven't seen, you know, an action by government to ensure that all of this actually ends. But it's a good one. Commendable also is the fact that Nigerians are speaking up. I really must applaud, you know, this generation. It's not like, let's hold their hands. It's not my business. It's not my business. Nigerians are speaking up. Everyone is speaking up. And that's how it should be. And I must say I'm proud to be part of this generation at this time. Yes, indeed, indeed. Because uh, most times when things like this happen, the fall, you know, you know, all the social media outcry and uh, for social media frenzy, you know, most times at this case is actually swept under the carpet and it is really really something you know good to note that uh, Nigerians are indeed speaking out and uh, we know that for 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 certain that uh, this case will not be one of them that was just uh, you know swept under the carpet and indeed hopefully you know this family uh, the late Sylvester Orbanese family uh, would be able to find some sort of um, closure and maybe justice, you know, uh, if you may. You know, indeed, uh, that's uh, one of the top trending stories. Also, again, if you remember, uh, Mercy, you know, uh, in the wake of uh, the sexual um, allegation scandal by the New York governor, uh, Cuomo, you know, the brother, you know, backed him or gave him some sort of um, advice. And, uh, you know, just uh, over the weekend, uh, the Chris Cuomo, one of uh, the most popular, uh, you know, anchor on on CNN's uh, news platform, you know, was sacked by the network. Well, the truth is, we talk about being accomplice. I mean, mm. abating and supporting, and you know, it's it's like saying you do not support this thing. D there could be some action that would make you an accomplice. Somewhat, yes. Somewhat an accomplice. And, and that's why, uh, for instance, I mean, this profession is a very sensitive one. Everyone it is, is expected but, but, that but. you should leave by. Sexual harassment is a serious issue. It is. Let's not even forget that we remember that, you know, Andrew Coleman, the governor of New York, mm. had resigned in August. Mm -hmm. And uh, the fact that they had to find some, you know, support. Some people are saying blood is thicker than water. The fact that you have support you know, from family and all of that. But, you know, a lot of persons have actually commended CNN for all, that's, uh, all that CNN has actually done. Uh, and, you know, it's really commendable. All right, it's still the breakfast on, on Plus TV Africa. Those are, I know, the top trending stories. We'll take a break and we'll be back with more. Do join us again. <laughs>